علم القرآن خلق الإنسان علمه البيان Whatever contradicts the arbitrary verses of the Mahdi Quran which is safeguarded from distortion is not sent by Allah Imam Nasser Muhammad al-Yamani Imam Mahdi's address to my honorable brother Bader al-Islam and to all Muslims who were exposed to the call of Imam Mahdi, which is a call to all people, with the truthful declaration of understanding of the admonition, the Quran, in the era of dialogue before the advent, the arrival of Nibiru combined with the revealing of Imam Mahdi, the pathway of deliverance is belief in the mighty Quran. It is to be like those who were before you, who have believed in the truth that was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace and prayers be upon him and his family and were not misguided by the strife caused by the name of Muhammad, peace and prayers upon him and his family, which was mentioned in the Injil, the Gospel. And a missionary with good tidings of a messenger who will come up even after me, his name is Ahmed, truthful as the mighty Allah. Then they, those who came before you, acknowledge that Muhammad, prayers and peace on him and his family, is the very same person as Ahmed. They came to know that a prophet might hold more than one name in the book. They realize that Allah's proclaimed argument is in the knowledge and not on the appellation. You will surely find the most intense of the people in animosity toward the believers to be the Jews and those who associate others with Allah. And you will find the nearest of them in affection to the believers, those who say, We are adherents of Yahshua. That is because among them are priests and monks and because they are not arrogant. And when they hear what has been revealed to the messenger, you see their eyes overflowing with tears because of what they have recognized of the truth. They say, Our Lord, we have believed, so register us among the witnesses. And why should we not believe in Allah and what has come to us of the truth? And we aspire that our Lord will admit us to paradise with the righteous people. So Allah rewarded them for what they said with gardens and paradise beneath which rivers flow, wherein they abide eternally. And that is the reward of doers of good. But those who disbelieve and deny our signs, they are the companions of hellfire. Truthful is the mighty Allah. So maybe one of the truth seekers would like to interrupt me and say, As for the Quran, we believed in it before your call, O ye Nasser Muhammad al Yemeni. Then Imam Mahdi Nasser Muhammad al Yemeni will reply to him, saying, Disagreement concerning religion had happened among those who were given the book. Then Allah has sent Muhammad, his slave and messenger, to all nations. Allah has ordered his messenger to call those who had disputes in religion from the people of the book to the book of Allah, the mighty Quran, that it may judge between them. Whomsoever turns his back on the summons of the arbitrating Quran, the ruling for rejecting the book of Allah will be applied. So do you believe in the saying of Allah, the Most High? Do you not consider, O Muhammad, those who were given a portion of the scripture? They are invited to the scripture of Allah, that it should arbitrate between them, then a party of them turns away and they are refusing. Truthful is the mighty Allah. Allah has sent his prophet Moses to the children of Israel, calling them to Islam. Therefore you will find what Moses said in the word of Allah Almighty. And Moses said, O my people, if you have believed in Allah, then rely upon him, if you should be Muslims. Truthful is the mighty Allah. Thus Pharaoh had said when the drowning overtook him, and we took the children of Israel across the sea, and Pharaoh and his soldiers pursued them in tyranny and enmity until, when drowning overtook him, he said, I believe that there is no deity except that in whom the children of Israel believe, and I am of the Muslims. Truthful is the mighty Allah. Likewise, Allah has sent his slave and prophet Jesus to the children of Israel to call them to Islam. Allah the Most High said, But when Jesus felt persistence and disbelief from them, he said, Who are my adherents for the cause of Allah? The disciples said, We are adherents for Allah. We have believed in Allah and testified that we are Muslims, submitting to him. Truthful is the mighty Allah. <clears throat> and Allah the Most High said, And remember when I inspired to the disciples, Believe in me and in my messenger Jesus. They said, We have believed. 
So bear witness that indeed we are Muslims in submission to Allah. Truthful is the body of Allah. And Allah the Most High said, O you have, who have believed, be adherents of Allah, as when Jesus the son of Mary said to the disciples, Who are my adherents for the sake of Allah? The disciples said, We are adherents of Allah. And a faction of the children of Israel believed, and a faction disbelieved. So we vindicated those who believed against their enemy, and they became dominant. Truthful is the mighty Allah. <clears throat> Accordingly, Allah has sent the seal of all caliphate, successors of Allah, Imam Nasser Muhammad al-Yemini, calling for the religion of Islam, of which the Prophet of Allah, Moses, came with, of which the Prophet of Allah, Jesus, came with, of which the seal of all prophets and messengers, Muhammad, the messenger, came with. Allah's prayers and peace are upon all of them and upon all their good families. For I call ye Christians, Jews, and illiterate people to Islam, the religion of truth. I make no difference between his prophets, and I am among the Muslims. I do not call for any sect and religion from amongst all the opposing parties. Instead, I call for the religion of Islam, the path as it was in the prophets' times, which is a straight path. I believe in the Torah, the Injil, and the mighty Quran adhering by the mighty Qur'an's ruling and domination above all of these books. Whatever is contrary to the arbitrating verses of the Qur'an from the Torah, Gospel, or traditions of Prophet Muhammad, then I am the first to renounce it. Because whatever comes in conflict with the arbitrating mighty Qur'an, which is divinely free from alteration, would not have come from Allah, and it's a fabrication about Allah and all his messengers. <clears throat> that is to say, it came from the abominable devil, brought by the mouthpiece of devilish humans that are advocates of the devil. They are the archenemy to Allah, his messengers, and the awaited Imam Mahdi, the one who argues with people using what is a reminder and safeguarded from manipulation, which is the mighty Quran that Allah has made to be the arbitrator and dominant over the Torah, Injil, and the Prophet's traditions. Asserted by Allah the Most High, and we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, the book in truth, confirming that which preceded it of the scripture, and as a criterion over it. So judge between them by what Allah has revealed, and do not follow their inclinations away from what has come to you of the truth. Truthful is the mighty Allah. O communities of Christians, Jews, and Muslims, here he is, the caliphate of Allah, the true awaited Imam Mahdi from your Lord, came and hereby calling all of you to the book of Allah, to rule between you in truth with what Allah has revealed. It is not befitting the evident truth to be led by your own inclination, O you, Fatah al-Islam. As for those who have said, we heard and obeyed, surely they deserve to be saved from his bitter punishment, as asserted by the saying of Allah the Most High, then we will save our messengers and those who have believed. Thus it is an obligation upon us that we save the believers. Truthful is the mighty Allah. As to those who claim they believe in the mighty Quran from among the Jews, Christians, and Muslims, yet they veer away from the call of Imam Mahdi to resolve to the book of Al-Quran, they have followed the footsteps of those who said, We hear, but we disobey, as in the saying of Allah the Most High, Among the Jews are those who distort words from their proper usages and say, We hear and disobey. Truthful is the mighty Allah. Other than Allah, those people will find neither a patron nor a ready vindicator. Doesn't the awaited Imam Mahdi, truly from their Lord, take his argument from the arbitrating verses of the book, the verses which are clearly comprehensible to the unlearned and to the scholar? Then why would not Allah punish those who veer from the signs of Allah? Allah has said, indeed, the religion in the sight of Allah is Islam, and those who were given the scripture did not differ except after knowledge had come to them out of jealous animosity between themselves. And whoever disbelieves in the verses of Allah, then indeed Allah is swift in taking account. Truthful is the mighty Allah. Allah the Most High said, And we have certainly revealed to you verses which are clear proofs, and no one would deny them except the defiantly disobedient. Is it not true that every time they took a covenant, a party of them threw it away, that in fact most of them do not believe? And when a messenger from Allah came to them, confirming that which was with them, a party of those who had been given the scripture threw the scripture of Allah behind their backs, as if they did not know what it contained. Truthful is the mighty Allah. Thus I swear no one rejects the call of the awaited Imam Mahdi to have the book of Allah, Quran, 
as their arbiter, and they veer, turning their back on the book of the law, except those who are profligators from among the Jews, and those who followed their fabrications from among the Christians and Muslims. And Allah the Most High said, And we have certainly revealed to you verses which are clear proofs, and no one would deny them except the defiantly disobedient. Is it not true that every time they took a covenant, a party of them threw it away? But in fact, most of them do not believe. And when a messenger from Allah came to them, confirming that which was with them, a party of those who had been given the scripture threw the scripture of Allah behind their backs, as if they did not know what it contained. Truthfulness of mighty Allah. Also those who followed whatsoever contradicts the arbitrating verses of the mighty Quran, they will never admire the call of Imam Nasser Muhammad al-Yemeni until he follows what they have, false knowledge preached from man-made narrations. But not in no way. I, Nasser Muhammad al-Yemeni, swear by Allah Almighty, if my dialogue with you lasted a thousand years, I would not budge from the Book of Allah. <clears throat> I will hold fast to the Book of Allah, the mighty Quran, and denounce whatsoever conflicts with the arbitrating verses of the Book of Allah, the mighty Quran. Even if all the Muslims, Christians, Jews, and all other people have come to an agreement with each other regarding what conflicts with the Quran, as asserted by the law, the, by Allah, the Most High, saying, Even if all the Muslims, Christians, Jews, and all other people have come to an agreement with each other regarding what conflicts with the Quran, as asserted by Allah, the Most High, saying, And we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, the book in truth, confirming that which preceded it of the scripture, and as a criterion over it. So judge between them by what Allah has revealed, and do not follow their inclinations away from what has come to you of the truth. Truthful is the mighty Allah. Asserted by Allah the Most High, and thus we have revealed to you an inspiration of our command. You did not know what is the book, or what is faith, but we have made it a light by which we guide whom we will of our servants. And indeed, O Muhammad, you guide to a straight path, the path of Allah to whom belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. Unquestionably, to Allah do all matters evolve. Truthful is the mighty Allah. Never ever will truth be followed except by those who consider what's right, using their mind for affirmation. Those are the ones who contemplate on what's being said. Then their minds will accept it, and their necks will bow down in acknowledgment to the truth of their own free will based on their understanding. Then their minds will accept it, and their necks will bow down in acknowledgment to the truth of their own free will based on their understanding before they are forced to submit to the truth with the sign of punishment, evidence smoke in the sky, when they will say, O Lord, take this punishment away from us, for we are believers. O Arabic community, did you find Nasser Muhammad al yemeni state his argument in a foreign tongue? Therefore, were you not enlightened by the call of the true Imam Mahdi, which was sent from your Lord? On the contrary, I am addressing you with a clear Arabic Quran. Hence, my argument with you is clear verses, so you can consider what's right, using your mind for affirmation. Similarly, Allah the Most High has said, And we have certainly revealed to you verses which are clear proofs, and no one would deny them except the defiantly disobedient. Truthful is the mighty Allah. Asserted by Allah the Most High, Ha mean by the clear book. Indeed, we have made it an Arabic Quran that you might understand. And indeed it is, in the mother of the book, with us, exalted and full of wisdom. Hereby we decree that the reminder to be lifted away for a period that equals 100 times what you can count on your hands, leaving you in disarray because you were extravagant in killing. Truthful is the mighty Allah. But the unforgivable crime of Imam Mahdi in their sight is, why would you not follow what you have found us doing all along? Then I will reply, O oh, unlearned Muslims and Christians, you have followed the whims of errant people that have led astray many nations, those human devils. Asserted by Allah the Most High, saying, Say, O people of the Scripture, do not exceed limits in your religion beyond the truth, and do not follow the inclinations of a people who had gone astray before and misled many and have strayed from the soundness of the way. Truthful is the mighty Allah. And here are the Christians. They call upon Jesus, son of Mary, apart from Allah, thinking he is their intercessor before Allah. And here are the Muslims calling upon Muhammad, the messenger of Allah, apart from Allah, as they, the Muslims, claim they will say, O Muhammad, messenger of Allah, prayers and peace on him and his family to be intact. Intercede for us to Allah. 
and he will say, I am for it, I am for it. May Allah's wrath pour be on you wherever you make your vilifications. This narration by prophetic tradition, hadith, is one of the major evidences of Muslims associating a partner with their Lord. They, the Muslims, have said in this narration, narrated by Anas, the Prophet said, On the day of resurrection, the believers will assemble and say, Let us ask somebody to intercede for us with our Lord. So they will go to Adam and say, You are the father of all the people, and Allah created you with his own hands, and ordered the angels to prostrate to you and taught you the names of all things. So please intercede for us with your Lord, so that he may relieve us from this place of ours. Adam will say, I am not fit for this, i.e. intercession for you. Then Adam will remember his sin and feel ashamed thereof. He will say, Go to Noah, for he was the first apostle Allah sent to the inhabitants of the earth. They will go to him, and Noah will say, I am not fit for this undertaking. He will remember his appeal to his Lord to do what he had no knowledge of. Then he will feel ashamed thereof and will say, Go to the Khalil of Rahman, i.e. Abraham. They will go to him and he will say, I am not fit for this undertaking. Go to Moses, the slave to whom Allah spoke directly and gave him the Torah. So they will go to him and he will say, I am not fit for this undertaking. And he will mention his killing a person who was not a killer, and so he will feel ashamed thereof before his Lord. And he will say, Go to Jesus, Allah's slave, his apostle, and Allah's word, and his spirit coming from him. Jesus will say, I am not fit for this undertaking. Go to Muhammad, the slave of Allah, whose past and future sins were forgiven by Allah. So they will come to me, and I will proceed till I will ask my Lord's permission, <coughs> and I will be given permission. When I see my Lord, I will fall down in prostration, and he will let me let me remain in that state as long as he wishes, and then I will be addressed. Muhammad, raise your head. I ask, and your request will be granted. Say, and your saying will be listened to. Intercede, and your intercession will be accepted. I will raise my head and praise Allah with a saying, invocation. He will teach me, and then I will intercede. He will fix a limit for me to intercede for, whom I will admit into paradise. Then I will come back again to Allah, and when I see my Lord, the same thing will happen to me. And then I will intercede, and Allah will fix a limit for me to intercede whom I will let into paradise. Then I will come back for the third time, and then I will come back for the fourth time, and will say, None remains in hell but those whom the Quran has imprisoned in hell, and who have been destined to an eternal stay in hell. The compiler, Abu Abdullah, said, But those whom the Quran has imprisoned in hell refers to the statement of Allah they will dwell therein forever. Also, check the book of Prophet Narrated Traditions, Fat al Bari by Ibn Hajar, Explanation of Nawai to authentic, Authenticated Narration by Muslim in Fatwa 10268 and Fatwa 57726. And I, Imam Mati, I bear witness by Allah that this narrated prophet saying is a Jewish fabrication. It contradicts the arbitrating verses of the Book of Allah in true Prophet Narrated Traditions, Sunnah. Here, Allah the Most High has said, And warned by the Quran, those who fear that they will be gathered before their Lord, for them besides him will be no protector and no intercessor, that they might become righteous. Truthful is the mighty Allah. It was said by Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah, prayers and peace on him and his family, O Fatima, daughter of Muhammad, work, for Muhammad will not avail you against Allah. O Abbas, uncle of Muhammad, work, for Muhammad will not avail you against Allah. And Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah, prayers and peace on him and his family, said, O children of Hashim, do not take it for granted where people come in with their work of good deeds, and you come in with expectation of your noble ancestry and kinship. So work, for I will not avail you against Allah. Also the Messenger of Allah, prayers and peace on him and his family, said, O people of Quraysh, secure deliverance from Allah by doing good deeds. I cannot help you at all against Allah. O sons of Abdul Muttalib, I cannot help you at all against Allah. O my uncle, Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib, O my aunt, Safiya, I cannot help you at all against Allah. O Fatima, daughter of Muhammad, ask me whatever you like, but I have nothing which can help you against Allah. Truthful is Muhammad, the messenger of Allah, prayers and peace upon him and his family. For he does not have any say in the order of Allah, asserted by Allah the Most High, saying, that he might cut down a section of the disbelievers or suppress them so that they turn back disappointed. Not for you, O Muhammad, but for Allah is the decision where he should cut them down or forgive them or punish them, for indeed they are wrongdoers. 
and to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. He forgives whom he wills and punishes whom he wills, and Allah is forgiving and merciful. Truthful is the mighty Allah. Peace on all the messengers, and thank Allah, Lord of the world, the brother to those who say we hear and we obey, Imam Nasser Muhammad al Yemeni. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن علم القرآن خلق الإنسان علمه البيان